Welcome to another episode of the True Crime Tales. Today we are going to talk about the crimes of passion that go on each and every day. Today's episode is called, A Crime of Passion. Donald was a regular person from the Midwest United States. He was by no means wealthy, but he had a good job and paid good money. He had been working and saving money for many years. As Donald got up in the years, he wanted to settle down again. After his first wife passed away after a few years of bad health, he wanted to have someone to be his companion and date and possibly to be his new wife. He had heard of good success stories of online dating, so he wanted to give this a try. At first he was reluctant to try this, but the bar scene for him was not what he wanted. He did not have friends that could introduce him to anyone, plus he was shy in nature, so he did not want his friends to know he was looking for a lady to meet. He was old-fashioned and new to dating, but he really wanted to try this. He looked around for a few days at different websites looking for ladies. He found a few that seemed like he would consider as a good match, but he needed to talk to them more to find out if anyone was good or not. He spent a weeks and narrowed the field down to two possible ladies. Both these ladies seemed like they were good people and had good hearts. After a few more weeks of talking, he felt more comfortable to both them, so his choice was getting harder to make. He was a kind person and did not want to hurt either one of them. They both had families that they lived with and helped out around the house. One of the ladies had a degree. The lady with the degree had a hard time to find a place to work since the economy there in Cebu City in the Philippines was not the best. She was trying hard to find and always was looking. Her family was dependent upon her to help since they also did not have jobs but meager farmers. They got by but the family wanted more for their kids. They depended upon her to help out and that way they could do more in the fields. He was happy that she wanted to take care of the family, showed she had a good heart and had good family morales. The other lady did not have a degree, but she did live at home with her family as well. She told him about the same story as the other lady, that she helped the family and they could work the fields as well. She also took care of the younger kids in her family while their mom and dad worked. It was the least she could do while she was living there. She lived in Dipolog City in the Philippines. It was a small town and he liked small towns. He was torn between the two ladies. He did not care about degrees after all he just wanted to find someone who was kind, good heart and family oriented. After a week of talking to them both, he wanted to finally meet them online to see them and let them see him. Donald arranged video calls with both ladies, eager to put a face to the voices he had been getting to know over the past few weeks. The first call was with Mary from Cebu City. As the video connected, he saw her warm smile and the genuine excitement in her eyes. They talked for hours, sharing stories about their lives, values, and dreams. Donald was impressed by Mary's resilience and dedication to her family. Her kindness and genuine nature struck a chord with him. The next day, he connected with Rose from Dipolog City. Rose's video call revealed a down-to-earth woman with a great sense of humor. She spoke passionately about her family and the simple joys of life in a small town. Donald appreciated her honesty and the way she cared for her siblings. It was clear that Rose had a big heart and a strong sense of responsibility. As Donald spent more time conversing with both ladies, he found himself in a difficult predicament. Each woman possessed qualities he admired, making the decision even more challenging. He decided to take a step back and evaluate what he truly wanted in a partner. Reflecting on his own values, Donald realized that, above all, he sought companionship, kindness, and a shared commitment to family. One evening, after much contemplation, he called both Mary and Rose to have an open conversation. He expressed his feelings and explained that he admired both of them greatly. To his surprise, Mary and Rose were understanding and appreciative of his honesty. They also felt a connection with Donald and were grateful for the opportunity to get to know him. Donald proposed an unconventional idea. What if the three of them met online together, sharing stories and experiences in a group video call? 
Mary and Rose agreed, and the three of them connected in a virtual meeting. What unfolded was a heartwarming conversation where they openly discussed their values, dreams, and expectations. It turned out that Mary and Rose had a lot in common and even shared laughter over their similar experiences growing up in the Philippines. In the end, Donald didn't have to choose between Mary and Rose. Instead, they collectively decided to take things slow and continue getting to know each other, fostering a unique connection that transcended the boundaries of a conventional dating scenario. As the weeks turned into months, the trio developed a deep bond. Donald, Mary, and Rose soon realized that love and companionship could come in unexpected forms. Together, they embarked on a journey of understanding, acceptance, and the celebration of their shared values, a true tale of unconventional love that defied the norms of traditional romance. As their connection grew stronger, the three of them continued to navigate the challenges of a long-distance relationship. They shared their daily lives through video calls, messages, and even virtual family gatherings. Donald, Mary, and Rose learned to appreciate the uniqueness each brought to the relationship Donald, being a considerate and Karen. G-Man soon found himself not just the object of affection, but a mediator of sorts between Mary and R. O's. Their interactions became a beautiful blend of cultural exchange, and they discovered that despite the physical distance, their emotional connection was real and pro. One day, after months of virtual togetherness, Donald proposed an idea that surprised everyone. He suggested that they plan a trip to meet in person, acknowledging that face-to-face -face interaction was crucial for the evolution of their relationship. Mary and Rose were initially apprehensive, but their excitement and curiosity prevailed. The trio decided on a neutral location, choosing a beautiful resort in the Philippines where they could spend quality time together. Donald, a mix of nervousness and anticipation, finally met Mary and Rose in person. The meeting was filled with laughter, warmth, and the joy of finally being able to share physical space. During their time together, the three of them explored the local culture, enjoyed the attractive landscapes, and faced the inevitable awkward moments that come with blending two worlds. Through it all, they learned that love could actually be unconventional and that a relationship's success wasn't defined by societal norms. As the trip came to an end, Donald, Mary, and Rose faced a difficult decision. They had grown incredibly close, forming a unique bond that transcended the typical boundaries of a romantic relationship. Rather than conforming to traditional expectations, they chose to continue their unconventional love story. The three of them decided to live in the moment and cherish the love they had found, regardless of expectations. Donald, Mary, and Rose became pioneers of a relationship that proved genuine connections could be formed in the most unexpected ways. After the whirlwind trip, Donald found himself facing the inevitable crossroads, a decision he had been postponing for too long. He knew he couldn't continue indefinitely without clarity, and both Mary and Rose were aware that a choice needed to be made. Feeling a sense of responsibility and wanting to be fair to both women, Donald decided to have a candid conversation with Mary and Rose separately. He invited each of them to a private video call, a space where they could express their feelings openly. In his conversation with Mary Donald acknowledged the deep connection they had formed. He appreciated her kindness, her commitment to family, and the strength she showed in the face of economic challenges. Mary, understanding the situation, expressed her genuine feelings for Donald and her respect for whatever decision he would make. Then came the conversation with Rose Donald conveyed his admiration for her sense of humor, her down-to-earth nature, and the love she showered on her family. Rose, too, opened up about her feelings, understanding the complexities of the situation and expressing her gratitude for the time they had spent together. After these heartfelt conversations, Donald took some time alone to reflect. He considered the values that mattered most to him, the kind of life he envisioned, 
and the person he saw himself growing old with. It was a soul-searching moment that required him to be honest with himself about his own desires and expectations. Finally, with a heavy yet resolved heart, Donald arranged a group video call with both Mary and Rose. In this virtual meeting, he shared his thoughts and emotions openly. He explained that he had immense respect and affection for both of them, but realized that, in the end, he had to make a choice. It was a tense moment, and the virtual air hung heavy with anticipation. Donald took a deep breath, and, looking into the eyes of the two women he had grown to care deeply for, he made his decision. He chose to pursue a romantic relationship with Rose. Mary, displaying grace and understanding, accepted the outcome gracefully. While it was undoubtedly a bittersweet moment, she wished them well and expressed her gratitude for the time they had shared. Donald thanked her for her understanding and kindness, acknowledging the depth of their connection. As Donald and Rose moved forward, they navigated the challenges and joys of building a relationship. The choice to be with Rose did not diminish the significance of the connection he shared with Mary. Instead, it highlighted the complications of love and the difficult decisions that sometimes accompany it. The couple faced the hurdles of a long-distance relationship but approached them with newfound strength and commitment. Donald made trips to Dapalog City, immersing himself in Rose's world, meeting her family, and understanding the twists and turns of life in a small town. Their love story continued to evolve, shaped by the lessons they learned from the unusual beginning. They embraced the beauty of their differences and found common ground in their shared values and dreams. As Donald and Rose worked towards building a future together, they also remained in contact with Mary, ensuring that their friendship endured despite the change in dynamics. As time passed, a subtle shift occurred in Rose's perspective. The challenges of a long-distance relationship, coupled with the economic disparities between their two worlds, began to influence her priorities. Rose, who initially embraced the relationship with sincerity and genuine affection, found herself increasingly burdened by financial concerns. One day, during a video call, Rose broached the subject of money with Donald, she spoke about the struggles her family faced in Dipolog City and the limited opportunities for personal and professional growth in her small town. Rose expressed her desire for financial stability and a better life, not just for herself but for her family as well. This revelation took Donald by surprise, as their connection had initially been based on shared values and emotional compatibility. He listened attentively as Rose explained the financial challenges her family faced, the dreams she had for them, and the potential relief that additional financial support could provide. Donald, being a compassionate individual, understood the importance of financial stability but was unsure about the implications of this newfound focus on money in their relationship. The shift raised questions about the authenticity of Rose's feelings and the nature of their connection. In the subsequent weeks, Donald grappled with these concerns, reflecting on the evolving dynamics of their relationship. He pondered whether Rose's changing priorities were a temporary response to the challenges she faced or a fundamental shift in her values. In response to Rose's financial concerns, Donald decided to support her and her family by providing financial assistance. Understanding the economic challenges Rose faced in Dipolog City, and the desire to improve her family's situation. He saw this as an opportunity to show his care and commitment. Donald, being a generous and kind-hearted person, began sending money to Rose to help with her family's needs. At first, Rose expressed gratitude, and the financial support seemed to alleviate some of the immediate pressures they faced. The couple continued their virtual relationship with Donald maintaining his job in the United States and Rose navigating life in Dipolog City. However, over time, the dynamic of their relationship began to shift Rose. Once focused on building an emotional connection, seemed increasingly preoccupied with financial matters. Conversations started revolving around money, and Donald noticed a change in the tone of their interactions. 
The genuineness of their initial connection appeared to be clouded by the financial support, raising questions about the nature of their relationship. As Donald continued to send money, he wondered whether Rose's feelings were now influenced more by financial dependence than by genuine emotional connection. The uncertainty weighed on him, and he began to reflect on the sustainability of a relationship built on financial support. Rose, driven by a genuine desire to improve her family's living conditions, expressed to Donald her dream of finishing their family house. The financial support provided by Donald became a means to fulfill this aspiration, and Rose shared detailed plans and visions for the completion of the house in Dipolog City. Understanding Rose's commitment to her family and recognizing the importance of a stable home, Donald felt a sense of responsibility and empathy. He saw this as an opportunity to contribute to a meaningful cause and support Rose in achieving her goal of providing a better living space for her family. As the financial assistance continued, Rose kept Donald updated on the progress of the construction. They shared the excitement of each milestone achieved, turning what initially seemed like a source of tension into a shared project. The process of building the family house became a bonding experience, strengthening the connection between Donald and Rose. Despite the challenges of a long-distance relationship and the complexities introduced by financial support, the couple found a way to navigate this new chapter in their love story. The shared goal of completing the family house brought them closer, and Donald's willingness to support Rose's dreams became a testament to the depth of his commitment. It seemed like a natural progression for Rose, who had become an integral part of Donald's life. Her desire to prepare for a potential move to the United States reflected her commitment to the relationship and her anticipation of a shared future with Donald. Understanding Rose's wish to have some new clothes, Donald, eager to make her feel comfortable and welcomed, agreed to support her in acquiring the wardrobe she desired. They spent hours discussing Rose's preferences, styles, and the practicalities of adapting to a different climate in the U.S. Donald, appreciating the significance of this step, gladly assisted with the purchase of the clothes Rose needed. It became a virtual shopping experience, with Donald providing input and guidance as Rose selected items that she liked. As the packages arrived, Rose shared the excitement of trying on each piece, describing how she envisioned wearing them in various scenarios, from casual outings to more formal occasions. The act of shopping for clothes became more than just a practical preparation. It became a shared experience that strengthened the emotional bond between Donald and Rose. Their love story continued to unfold with Rose's preparation for the move symbolizing a deeper commitment to building a life together. The act of choosing clothes, though seemingly mundane, represented the tangible aspects of merging two lives from different corners of the world. As their love story continued to unfold, Rose expressed a deep longing for Donald to visit her in person once again. The virtual connection, while meaningful, couldn't fully replace the joy of physical presence and shared experiences. Donald, understanding Rose's desire and eager to nurture their relationship, enthusiastically agreed to plan another trip to meet her in the Philippines. The anticipation of the visit added a new layer of excitement to their relationship. Donald and Rose began coordinating the details, discussing the places they wanted to explore together the local delicacies they wanted to try, and the moments they hoped to create during Donald's stay. The prospect of spending time together in person reignited the spark in their unconventional love story. As Donald's travel plans took shape, he found himself looking forward to the reunion with Rose. They thought of being together in the same physical space, free from the constraints of a screen, filled both of them with joy and hope. When the day finally arrived, and Donald set foot in the Philippines, the reunion was nothing short of magical. Rose's smile radiated genuine happiness, and the couple embraced the opportunity to create cherished memories. They explored local markets, enjoyed the beauty of Philippine landscapes, and shared moments. 
The visit not only strengthened their emotional connection, but also allowed them to navigate the complexities of merging their two worlds. Donald experienced firsthand the warmth of Rose's family and the rich cultural tapestry of her life in the Philippines. During Donald's visit to the Philippines, Rose took him to see the family house that had been a significant focus of their shared dreams and desires. As they approached the newly completed dwelling, excitement and anticipation filled the air. The house, a tangible representation of their journey together, stood as a testament to the hard work, dedication, and financial support that Donald had provided. Rose, proud to showcase the result of their shared vision, eagerly led Donald through the various rooms, sharing the stories behind the design choices and the joyous moments of the construction process. Donald, witnessing the completed house, felt a profound sense of accomplishment and connection. The realization that he had played a crucial role in improving the living conditions of Rose's family filled him with a deep sen. Say of Satisfa, the once virtual connection now had a physical and obvious manifestation in the form of a home, a symbol of their commitment and the love that transcended borders. As Donald explored each room, he envisioned the moments that the house would hold in the future, family gatherings, celebrations, and the everyday joys of life. The experience deepened his bond with Rose and her family, creating lasting memories that would be etched into the narrative of their unconventional love story. As Donald and Rose spent more time together during his visit to the Philippines, Rose approached him with a request that was different from their previous discussions about finances. She expressed a desire to enhance her physical appearance to feel more confident and presentable during their time together. Understanding Rose's wish and wanting to support her, Donald listened attentively as she explained her thoughts. Rose shared her feelings about wanting to look her best for Donald, especially during his visit. She expressed that this wasn't about changing herself, but about feeling more comfortable and confident in their shared moments. Touched by Rose's vulnerability and sincerity, Donald reassured her that she was beautiful just the way she was. However, he also acknowledged and respected her desire to feel her best. Understanding the importance of self-confidence, he agreed to provide the financial support she needed to enhance her appearance, emphasizing that it was a gesture of love and support. Rose, grateful for Donald's understanding and generosity, embarked on a journey of self-care. The experience became a shared endeavor, with Donald appreciating Rose's efforts to feel more confident and Rose feeling valued and supported in her choices. After a memorable visit to the Philippines, filled with shared experiences, the warmth of Rose's family, and the realization of their dreams, Donald reluctantly returned home to the United States. The departure was bittersweet, marked by the promise of a reunion and the challenges of maintaining a long-distance relationship. Back in the U.S., Donald and Rose continued their virtual connection, relying on video calls, messages, and shared moments to bridge the geographical gap between them. The separation, though difficult, only deepened their commitment to each other. As Donald settled back into his routine, the memories of the Philippines and the time spent with Rose lingered in his heart. The family house he had helped build stood as a constant reminder of their shared dreams and the enduring connection they had forged. While the physical distance posed its challenges, Donald and Rose remained resilient. They continued to plan for the future, discussing the possibility of Rose joining him in the United States. The anticipation of a future together became a driving force, motivating them to navigate the problems of immigration and the difficulties of merging their lives. As their relationship progressed, Rose approached Donald with another financial request, this time seeking funds for travel clothes to prepare for her journey to the United States. The total amount spent on various aspects of their relationship, including the family house and personal enhancements, had reached a significant sum. The sum had reached $40,000, and he was starting to think it was too much Donald. While understanding the importance of Rose feeling comfortable and presentable during her travel, felt a sense of unease. 
The request for additional funds raised questions about financial boundaries and the sustainability of their dynamic. It prompted Donald to have an open and honest conversation with Rose about their financial expectations and how to manage expenses moving forward. In the midst of their discussion, Donald expressed his concerns about the growing financial strain and the need for transparency in their financial decisions. He wanted to ensure that their relationship wasn't solely defined by monetary transactions and that they could find a balance that honored both their emotional connection and financial responsibilities. The conversation allowed Donald and Rose to address their expectations and priorities, fostering a deeper understanding of each other's perspectives. Donald, while willing to support Rose, wanted to ensure that their financial decisions were based on mutual respect and a shared vision for their future. Despite his concerns and reservations, Donald found himself caught in a difficult situation. The emotional investment and the desire to support Rose had created a sense of obligation, leading him to send additional funds for her travel clothes. The complexity of their relationship, now entangled with financial decisions, added a layer of tension to their otherwise unconventional love story. Donald, torn between his genuine care for Rose and the growing financial strain, continued to navigate the intricacies of their dynamic. The additional funds served as a temporary solution to meet Rose's immediate needs, but it also prompted Donald to reflect on the sustainability of their relationship and the boundaries that needed to be established. As Donald continued to grapple with the complexities of their relationship, he decided to honor Rose's request for additional funds to purchase her clothes. The desire to support her and make her feel comfortable during her journey to the United States prevailed over his concerns about the growing financial strain. Donald, still deeply committed to Rose and their shared future, sent the additional funds, hoping that this gesture would contribute to a smooth transition for Rose as she prepared to join him in the U. The decision reflected his willingness to prioritize Rose's well-being and happiness, even if it meant further financial commitments. The act of sending more money for clothes became a symbol of Donald's dedication to their relationship. It showed the challenges of navigating love in the digital age, where financial transactions could become connected with emotional connections. The couple, despite facing these complexities, continued to move forward with a shared vision of building a life together. The dynamics of Donald and Rose's relationship took an unexpected turn as Donald's financial contributions reached about $45,000. Despite his generosity and genuine care for Rose, he started to notice a gradual slowdown in their communication. The once vibrant and frequent exchanges began to disappear leaving Donald with a sense of uncertainty and concern. This change in behavior prompted Donald to reflect on the nature of their relationship. He couldn't ignore the possibility that the financial support might have played a role in shaping the dynamics between them. The slowdown in communication raised questions about the authenticity of their connection and whether it was built on more than just financial transactions. Feeling a mix of emotions, concern, confusion, and a growing sense of vulnerability, Donald decided to address the issue directly with Rose. He expressed his feelings about the changing dynamic and the importance of open communication in their relationship. Donald sought clarity about the slowdown and whether there were underlying reasons for the shift. Rose, in response, shared her own perspective. She explained that she had been preoccupied with personal matters and apologized for any unintended distance. However, the conversation didn't fully alleviate Donald's concerns. The financial investments and the changing communication dynamics left him grappling with the true nature of their relationship. The gradual slowdown in communication between Donald and Rose reached a point where Rose stopped talking to Donald altogether. The silence left Donald in a state of uncertainty and emotional distress. The once vibrant and promising connection seemed to have hit a roadblock, and Donald was left to grapple with the sudden absence of communication. Donald, concerned about the abrupt silence, made several attempts to reach out to Rose, seeking an explanation for the sudden change. 
However, his efforts were met with continued silence, leaving him in a state of confusion and heartache. As Donald navigated the emotional complexities of this phase, he faced the difficult task of coming to terms with the uncertainties surrounding their relationship. The unfolding narrative would reveal whether this silence marked the end of their unconventional love story, or if there were still chapters left to be written in the true crime tales of Donald and Rose. Donald come to the conclusion that this relationship is over, and after all this he realized that this was just a scam that was played by a good actor. He was out his money, time and emotionally broke. He thought that this was his crime of passion. Thanks for listening to another podcast of the True Crime Tales. Please come again. And remember, please subscribe.